Good morning, everyone. Thanks for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Joining me first this morning is our state representative, Holly Rashine. Now, the Florida legislature completed their 2013 session in May. As we mentioned last time, they were successful in passing a number of good bills and addressing everything from elections to much needed increases in spending for education. Holly has some more details for us this morning. Holly, thank you so much for being back this month. Wonderful. Thank you, Jenna, for having me again. <laughs> well, it is great having you here always, Holly. And last time we really didn't get a chance to talk about windstorm insurance. So could you kind of go into further detail? About Absolutely. That? And it's probably one of the number one issues that we face, of course, in Monroe County in the Keys. And just our rising rates, people are having a hard time keeping their homes, paying their mortgage, paying their homeowner's insurance and all other other things that come in um, into play with homeownership. And so what we just recently completed this past Monday was the first annual familiarization tour from Monroe County, or the FAM tour for short. And what we did is I hosted uh, a number of people from the insurance industry, from Citizens Property Insurance. We had uh, a couple high staff members. We had a couple Board of Governors members. We had the chief financial officers, um, consumer advocate join us. We had people from the reinsurance market, of course, from Bermuda and London. It's kind of reinsurance is the insurance for insurance companies. We had contractors. We had members of firm, fair insurance rates in Monroe. We had um, just a number of people who are involved in this big industry called insurance. And what we did is we highlighted via a tour our, our strong, strong building codes in Monroe County. So we took them to historic homes in downtown. We took them to historic homes that are under construction. We took them to new homes that are under construction. We also um, went up to Big Coppet and we, we got to look at this new home that's being constructed and it's just a concrete fortress. Um, also a modular home we got to see and, and just how we battened down the hatches in Monroe County and we are trying to make the case that our island home is not necessarily a wind risk. Why are our wind insur insurance rates so high? We, if anything, are a flood risk mm -hmm. and we are, our major problem when it comes to hurricanes is storm surge. And so we got to open the eyes of so many of these, these folks from the insurance industry and it was just wonderful to see the recognition of our, our super strong um, building codes, which are the strictest in the state, and I think a lot of people forget about that. And they were just blown away uh, by our techniques and our construction, and you know how you can take a historic home that has survived hundreds of storms mm -hmm. and and make it even better. And I think that we need to get the recognition that is due. And also, you know, the number one is the number one issue is to bring our rates down right. and make them equitable. And we got to close down the tour with a town hall meeting at the Casa Marina and firm fair insurance rates in Monroe. And the Key West Chamber of Commerce co hosted that. And we got to ask this panel, I, was, I sat on the panel as well, um, members of the public were able to ask this panel questions and really hear firsthand from the decision makers why these, these sort of decisions are, are, um, are being made. And overall, I just wanted to mention to you, um, in the, you, know, we, you mentioned the legislative session. Um, this year, again, regarding strictly citizens' property insurance, we were able to stave off any additional rate increase so that was a, a huge win, especially from Monroe County. We also made citizens' property insurance more accountable. We added an inspector general um, to, the, to the organization. There was some questionable practices by their board or by their employees regarding travel and so on and so forth. So we're really going to be able to keep a handle on their activities. We also added an, uh, an additional member to their board of directors, and that member is to represent the people it will be a consumer advocate on the board. So I think um, while property insurance is, is a very difficult, expensive issue, I think that we have made it a little better this year. Good. Definitely good news. And you said no increases. No additional increases, absolutely. Good. And that will be a fight that until some real reform is passed for citizens, that that's going to be something we're going to need to examine and work hard against every year. 
And I'm sure you'll be doing that, Absolutely. <laughs> Number one issue. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go from windstorm insurance to wastewater. You had a tour with Governor Scott's chief of staff. Yes, absolutely. We had a, a great time with him last week. He owns a home in the Keys, and so this issue of wastewater and completely sewering the Keys hits him close to home, no pun intended, mm -hmm. as well. And we got to sit down with him, all the entities from Key West to Ocean Reef, and let him know what's going on in our respective areas and how we need to move forward. And he also shared with us the governor's thoughts. And, you know, he's our chief officer of the state and, and somebody that uh, we need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the, the end game is to get that next $50 million mm -hmm. uh, for the wastewater bond. And, of course, you know, obviously behind windstorm, wastewater is, is, a, is a priority issue for me. And so Mr. Hollingsworth, Adam Hollingsworth is his name, basically broke the issue down into three buckets. And the first bucket was infrastructure what's been constructed, what's being constructed, and what's still to be constructed. The second bucket comes to connections. Most importantly, who's been connected, who's being connected, mm -hmm. and who's still left to be, to be connected. Third, and I think this is uh, <clears throat> extremely vital, obviously, and what I'm working towards is funding. Who's been funded, who needs to be funded, uh, and who is currently being funded, and where has that funding come from? Uh, the federal government, the state government, how much have the local property tax uh, payers, homeowners already shoveled out, and, and the cities and the county um, have put forward towards this massive unfunded state mandate. Mm -hmm. And um, he was very, very open to um, listening to the local folks. We uh, should have a draft of this study that the Department of Environmental Protection is working on in August. It will come before the governor and the cabinet in November and all said and done, everything works out. We should be in the governor's budget in February. Wonderful. That's great news. Yes, and you'll have to keep yes. us posted. Oh, I on will. Everything. I can give you mm -hmm. an update probably uh, in August okay. where we stand for sure. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being with me this morning, Holly. And I will have you back next month to give us some more updates on everything. Excellent. I look forward to it. And I <laughs> appreciate all the time I get to spend. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there's much more to come this morning, so please stay with me.